Hey guys, Jane from The Woman Developer here. I was just driving past this block and uh, this is a block that was sold a while ago. I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you or to make you aware of some of the pitfalls of buying property that the agent says is um, a subdividable property. So this property here, there's still there's tenants in it and they have what they've done is they've extended it. You can't really see it because I'm behind this bush. It's really windy. It's a um, it's a 980 square meter block. It's on a really steep hill, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you some photos. Um, or I'll take some photos and post them up. Basically, the agent sold this um, about four years ago. It was up for sale for, um, from memory, 980,000. It's about around about 900 square meter block or just over. Um, the agent said had it advertised as subdivide and make millions. Now there's a few issues with this block. It's mass, it's massively um, angled. It's on a hill. There was a crappy old house on there which the people that bought it had to extend because the possibilities for this block were minimal. Plus the fact the subdivision that he was talking about is a um, potential subdivide it's not a uh, actual the council have a proposal for a rezoning structure but if you speak to the council it's 25 years away at least there's four other um, suburbs which have to be subdivided first and so this poor person bought this block thinking they could make millions without doing this enough um, background checks and without doing any checks of their own believed this rogue agent who's still around still making tons of money and still lying to potential buyers so i'll show you quickly um if you can see i don't know what you can see because of the sun i can't really see it now let me just turn around i'll get the camera turned around what i'll do is i'll cross the road it's, it's a, there's a couple of issues with this block in that it's on a it's on a real or a blind bend and it's on a hill. So what I'll do is I'll jump over here to see if I might be itself. You can see the angle of the block. Um, I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind. But um, essentially this poor person was conned and the block was probably the house was probably worth about six hundred thousand at the time so they're gonna have to wait 20 odd years or just lose money um, they have already invested in it so they're already well in up past their eyebrows anyway uh, one of the pitfalls I'll follow this up with another video I'm going to do a whole series of these anyway so um, keep a lookout for the latest in what not to buy if you're going to subdivide or if you start starting your journey into developing so um, I don't know if you can see behind me uh, this is like and then we've got this behind so it's a nice view um, because we've got the ocean and everything um, and the this is nature strip so uh, the outlook is good but the driveway is abysmal the, the angle of the driveway is about a 40, 40 degree gradient so it's ridiculous it's uh, actually illegal you can't put a, a driveway that steep now it would have to they'd have to buy property from the back or put the garage a street level and walk up and it's a hell of a walk i can tell you anyway um watch out for updates in, in coming videos see you guys